Hello, this is uh, an accompanying video for my blog post uh, that explains how to debug Django application um, running in Apache 2 in a Docker container. In my previous video, I had explained how to uh, set up Django application uh, with Apache 2 in a Docker container. And um, I had created this repo uh, in that video. And I'm going to start uh, uh, cloning this, start by cloning this repo and then show how to debug this application. So I'm going to copy the URL and get clone. And go to the folder and then I'm going to start the container by running docker compass up the container is up uh, let's make sure the application runs fine without debugger so it's localhost 8005 so there is the application and it, it seems to be running fine so let's see how to debug this application now uh, so, in this video, I'm going to show you how to debug the application uh, using Visual Studio Code. Uh, first thing you need to do is um, install a Python extension. So You can see the extensions available by clicking on the extension icon in the activity bar on the left and search for Python. And this is the extension that you would want to install uh, for debugging Python in Visual Studio Code. And I have this already installed, but if you haven't installed, then just click on the install button and installation should take place. The next thing is to uh, configure uh, Visual Studio for Python debugging. So go to, click on the debug icon and um, click on add configuration uh, select python this is going to uh, add default configurations that are provided by python extension and the configuration that we are interested uh, is remote debugging so this is the configuration that we are interested in and uh, we are going to change some of the parameters here. So our local root is uh, workspace root slash www. And our remote root is, it's uh, in Docker container, which is at var www.html. And we are going to run the debug server, Python debug server on port 300, 3500. And uh, we are going to run on the same machine. So a host is going to be local host. But if your Docker container is running, running on some other machine, then you can provide host name or uh, IP address here. I'm going to save this. So if you recall in the Docker file in the previous video, uh, we had installed PTVST. Now PTVST is a, a debug server for Python for Visual Studio. And uh, to, uh, th that runs in the container or rather where the Django application or the Python application runs. So in our case, uh, this debug server is going to run in the container and from the host machine, we are connect, going to connect to that contain uh, to the server uh, using Visual Studio Code. Now, the PTVST documentation says that uh, you need to start the server, debug server, uh, along with your Python application. And uh, uh, if you notice here, we had installed uh, or we had enabled Python in Apache 2 uh, using mod WSGI plugin. 
Now, I really don't know where in mod WSGI code uh, I can plug in the code to start PTVSD server. Um, so, what I'm going to show or do in this video is start a debug server or rather a development server, Django development server in the container um, and run debug uh, PTVSD server um, in the debug server. In the docker compose.yml, uh, we have exposed three ports. The port 80 is where the Apache is listening to, which is exposed as 8005 uh, to the host. Uh, 3500 is where our debug server is going to run. And 81 port is where the debug, uh, the development server, Python uh, Django development server uh, is going to run. And that application will be, uh, that port is exposed as 8006 uh, to the host. I am going to open a bash shell in the container. So I will do docker exec minus it and name of the container is Django Apache 2. I'm going to run bash and uh, we need to embed the code to start a debug server uh, in, uh, in the development server along with development server. Now development server is run in Django application by running manage.py which is in, in the root of the application. So if you see uh, this demo app uh, is uh, demo site rather, you'll see manage pi uh, which is created by uh, Django when you create a new project. So I'm going to add the code to uh, start the PTVSD server uh, in this file. All right, so we first import PTVSD and then uh, enable or rather attach the PTVSD server uh, to the port 3500. So this is the port where this debug server is going to listen to for commands, debug commands. Now let's go back to the, the bash shell that we had to open in the container. And I'm going to run the debug server from this bash shell. So let's go to the the application folder, which is var www html, and it's Django demo app and demo site. This is where our manage.py, which we modified just now, um, is located. So let's run the debug server from, or rather, development server from here. So it's Python manage.py run server. Uh, I'm going to uh, disable auto loading, auto reloading of the code. The reason being that uh, the code that we have added here for attaching uh, debug server at 3500, that gets executed every time uh, Django or the debug server reloads the application when you modify any Python source code in this application. And that causes issues because the debug server is already listening to, instance of debug server is already listening on that port. So I'm going to disable uh, the reloading, no reload, and then the Going to attach to all, allow all IPs and port is 81. So the development server is running now. So let's make sure that the development server is running fine. Let's go to. So remember the development server is running on 8006. So that also is running fine. Now let's go to Visual. Studio code and set a breakpoint in view.py. So go to app views.py. Uh, 
Py and we will set a breakpoint here uh, at the last statement and then click on debug icon in the activity view above and select attach remote debug configuration and start the debugger. So now it is listen, uh, debugger is on in Visual Studio code and let's run the application again. So I'm just going to reload the application and you see here that the breakpoint has been hit. You can inspect the variables, you can do the step operations and in this case I'm just going to continue. So this is how you can uh, remote debug Chango uh, application running in Talker. Uh, I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time. Thanks.